Hey guys, the executive director of authority newspaper have come out to tell Nigerians that it was scary that Buhari did not want Tinubu to emerge as the Nigerian president, but see the way he did. He eventually have his way through. According to him, he said Buhari might have, you know, have his reasons why he never wanted President uh, Tinubu to become the Nigerian next president. And that was why he fought very hard. If not that, some things can't really change last, last. Even the game, Nigerians actually understood what happened. Talking about the Naira redesign and everything that happened, the first case city during the campaign. And at the initial time, the former president was not even you know, following the, the, the current president for any rally or whatever. It was later when they shut down the too much. Ah, wait till they happen. When I won't turn this uh, uh, Nigeria outside down. No. So, Tunubu, when they shot Emi Loko, <laughs> can say, Nigeria go scatter. Nigeria go pieces. Nigeria go drown. If they no if he not succeed as the Nigerian president. Now, by that time, nine northern governors, come they say, hey, this thing, get us a bill. I beg, make we support them. I think that was what happened. With what happened, you can understand that the former president never wanted him to be there. And even President Bola McTunable will tell you, yes, they never wanted him to be there. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you, Nigerians. The executive director of authority newspaper, Chris Akuna, has insinuated that there is a need for the National Assembly to review the Constitution in a way that politicians will not be able to manipulate their ways into power. And went further to say that it was scary that the former president, Muhammad Buhari, did not want President Bola Tinubu to emerge as Nigerian president, but he did anyway. Chus Akuna had said it was scary that the former president, Buhari, did not want him to emerge, but see the way he emerged. Akuna, who spoke during an interview on Kakike and AIT, television program reviewed how President Tinubu, before the presidential election, boasted that he would become president and eventually did. The authority newspaper board said he had, since the former Lagos governor won the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC, knew that he could not be stopped from becoming president. He insisted that even though he was insinuating that the former Lagos governor manipulated his way into power. The presidential election petition tribunal discovered a loophole in the constitution and delivered his judgment. Chus Akuna went further to cite an instance where the tribunal determined that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has the prerogative to choose how to transmit election results even though the Electoral Commission in its regulation stated that results will be transmitted electronically and maintained, Nigerian's law is too ambiguous. Akuna said those who have been fronting the tribunal over the outcome of the case should ask the National Assembly to review the Constitution instead. I thought I thought the commentator will make a reasonable state. Let's tell you, Nigeria, we'll be okay again. Tinubu may not complete the full plan, but he has started it. Presently, he is the one God we use to bring it to pass in Nigeria. Let's pray for him. God Almighty has destiny. Tinubu for renew hope for better Nigeria by God's grace. Okay, someone just dropped that. Hmm. See, I don't have issue with anybody becoming Nigerian president. So what we are just asking for is a good 
is a good president who will turn things around for good. And I will have problem with you whether you are a good president. If you did not emerge in the right process, if you like, make it turn Nigeria to Japan, but your process of coming in there is no no to me. Because by then, you are teaching the young ones another thing. You are teaching them not to do things in the right way. See, let me tell you something. I want to tell us this. When I see this election that was conducted by Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, that one make we place on one side. They say everything that happened, even when Nigerians, Nigerians shouted, Nigerians yelled, and everything they cried, they pleaded, may they do something concerning that election because all did not go down well with them. The government went ahead and did what they did. Then they now say go to court. Nigerians thinking that the court is the last, uh, the poor man last hope. I be hard and they tell they talk come. They have that hope even when they still they get out. They still believe that the court can still do things. They can, you know, unturn whatever. But that would that did that really happen? That did not happen. The major problem is the judiciary is not independent. The INEC is not independent. I am telling you this, the next election to come is going to be, hmm, I beg, this one that just happened go be child's play. For the court to say that after INEC have already, the commission have already said, this is, a, this is our law. They have already implemented their law that the elections, uh, the results are going to be transmitted and the court ruling that INEC can decide whatever which way they transmit results, whether manually or electronically, nobody has, you know, the the effort tree to question them why did they did they do that after when they have promised, after when it has become a law and all that. Nigerians make una watch for part two. It will be disaster. May God have mercy. So guys. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.